Hello, welcome. We're looking at graphing trig functions and specifically the last set of practice here. Uh, we're looking here at modeling with the sine osoto functions. And here's a bunch of word problems in here. Now, a um, couple of tips. You don't need to worry about the time. They say four to six minutes, but I haven't seen them that uh, present any issues to me. Um, and also check your work on Desmos here. We'll do that in this video. And finally, watch your variables. So here's our first problem. Pause the video, please read it, and then we'll solve it together. All right, so I don't wanna read the whole problem. And what's nice about these problems, you get the hang of them, you don't really have to read them. So you can kind of pick things out. And what I'm gonna pick out is that we have a problem that's dealing with pizza and slices of pizza, okay. Something about the pizza, and here it says, at t equals zero, the center of the tastiest looking slice is fur farthest from the door. Okay, what does that mean? Well, I'm thinking on a graph. This is something with sine functions, sine or cosine functions. In this case, I notice they, they want us to write a cosine function. And they're telling us that uh, time here will be x, or t, the t-axis right here. Uh, let me write that in black here. So we have time and pizza here. Pizza is a function of time, so this is p of t. <coughs> Excuse me. So at zero seconds, we're furthest from the door. That's 30 centimeters away. So there's got to be some point here. It's our maximum point. And at zero seconds, the pizza is 30 centimeters away. Okay, and after two pi seconds, it is closest to the door um, at a distance of 10 centimeters. Okay, so, so that I can plot a second point. I can say at two pi seconds, I don't know where to put that, so I'll just say here, this is two pi seconds. And at that point, it is 10 centimeters from the door. All right, so, we have, that's our, what do they tell us? That's the closest, so that's our minimum. Furthest is maximum, closest is minimum. So we've got some kind of sine function or cosine function here. They want us to write as a cosine. I want to first find the midline, because that'll give you my amplitude. There's some middle point here. And you've seen that in different videos. What do we do? We look at the heights of these two points. So it's 30 and 20, 30 plus, oh, sorry, 30 and 10, 30 plus 10, which is 40 divided by two to get our midline, which is 20. And that's this is the equation y equals 20. It's this line right here. So now we've got our d value. d is the midline and it's 20. Now we can also find our amplitude. Amplitude is this distance or this distance here. So 30 minus 20 or 20 minus 10. That's our amplitude, it's 10. So I'm gonna infer, it might not be, A might not be 10, but I'll leave it as 10. I think that's gonna make sense here. Initially, you don't know, is it positive or negative 10, but it looks like it fits because we've got, if I just extend this for a moment, you can see the typical shape of a cosine wave. It's not reflected in any way, so I don't need that negative sign there. Cosine of BT, what is B? B is, um, equal to two pi over the period. So B equals two pi divided by the period. And what is our period here? Well, we're given half of that cosine period wave. And I took two pi radians. So the so um, it's, it's, it's double that, right? It's four pi radians. All right, we're given half of the wave. So if half the wave takes two pi, Radians, the full wave would take double that, or four pi. And b is equal to two pi divided by the period. And here, the pi's cancel. And two over four is just one half, and I'll write 0.5. So 0 0.5. Now watch your variable here. Make sure you write this as, this is a p of t. So 10 times the cosine of 0 0.5 t plus 20 will work here, but Check it in Desmos. Let me just briefly go over how to do that with you. Um, here, I think I have my function written down. Yeah, okay, so here, if I type in, I, can, I don't think P of T will work. Let me just try, I'm curious. Yeah, it wants to add sliders. So I'm gonna write F of X equals, instead of P of T, 
10 cosine of 0 0.5x plus 20. And I've got a wave here. I can click around. I can see 0, 030. I can see 2 pi 10. Um, but you can also type in, since this is written as a function, I can say f of 0. And I know I should get 30. I do. Right, if the input is 0, the output's 30. I, I can also say if f of uh, 2 pi, I should get 10. I can see that there. In Desmos, um, on your x-axis, if you don't have it in radians, you can always change that by clicking in the graph settings and going to your step right here. So all the word problems are basically like this. So I hope this is enough to help. Thank you.